much. so much is this for me that's for you all right you you hold on to this one all I, right I, I prefer this one here <laughs> okay. we'll turn this into a high school production oh, yet no, it's... <laughs> ah, yes <laughs> it's angular oh it's a good thing I don't have some kind of condition where everything has to be right Hmm. <clears throat> Wayne Fleming, ladies and gentlemen, my very, very, very good friend. <laughs> and part of my gang, obviously. Heads up to the west side. All right, uh, doing some gang signs there, Wayne. Uh, first of all, I want to say this is such an incredible evening. Uh, unbelievable. Uh, oh, again, thanks uh, for not mentioning some of our more criminal activities. Uh, <laughs> keep that to a minimum. Uh, I met Wayne when I wasn't, uh, I wasn't working much in the business as a comedian. Uh, he called me and he said, do you want, you know, I know you're kind of out of work and uh, blacklisted, actually what I was, uh, <laughs> but uh, you want to come out and play my club in Barrie, you know? So I said, sure, got nothing much to do, why not? So uh, I sat down with him for the first time and I thought to myself, this guy's a crook, <laughs> you know? I mean, look at him. It's like the beady eyes and big, you see? Very frightening. The Oscar the Grouch, you know, mates with Brooke Shields eyebrows, you know, kind of thing. It's just not trustworthy, you know? And I thought to myself, I'm not getting paid this week. Anyway, I guess you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. It's really true what they say. So I, uh, well, I read a little further. And uh, after a while, I just couldn't put it down. He's a good man, and he's never changed. The pages are a little dog-eared, but I really am glad that you're my friend, sir. Thank you. Uh, oh, this is really incredible. I mean, just what, what a lineup of incredible talent. You can't sit back there and, and not realize how, uh, how monumental this is. Our contribution to show business and to the arts and, and everybody here, I'm off the book now because I just want to say this, sitting there and, and, and witnessing this has been uh, very, so exciting to me. I really feel like I'm part of a, a gigantic uh, contribution to, this, uh, to, this, to society and, and I'm just happy to be here. Hi, Steve. <laughs> I am very happy. Uh, I always dreamed that, you know, if I just worked hard enough and followed my inner voice somehow, some way, I'd be standing alongside greats like Mario Lemieux. Uh, of course, in my dreams, we had skates on, we were playing hockey. <laughs> you took the puck behind the net, passed it out in front of me, I shoot, I star! I ride my stick around for a while. <sighs> and then I realize I'm naked. And uh, that's when the fun begins. <laughs> By the way, I don't believe there should be any physical violence in hockey. But I do believe that every team should be allowed to develop nuclear weapons as a deterrent. Now that would be a melee, you know what I mean? The truth is, to the extent that I slept at all when I was a child, uh, I did wander the house a bit. Uh, I dreamt about you know, what it would be like to, to have the freedom to do what I love and uh, the good fortune of being recognized for it in the country that raised me. And uh, I also uh, dreamt about a werewolf and... Uh, <laughs> trying to get away from, but I was in slow motion. He was like... That formed my early life, a lot of that, that, that thing. It's a metaphor, really, for life in Hollywood. 
<laughs> yeah. Now, to those cynics that would say, and you keep hearing it, you know, when you're a, a person who works all over, uh, to them that would say that, you know, I don't even live in Canada most of the time, man. So what business do you have? Come in here and get this award. <laughs> I would say to them, you don't have to live in Canada to be in Canada. For me, Canada doesn't stop at the 49th parallel. It stops in here, and it goes wherever I go. Uh, we are all ambassadors to this country. So uh, follow your dreams. Go wherever you want to go, and don't worry about it. For me, Canada is my father, Percy Carey, one of the sweetest and funniest people you'll ever walk this planet. Uh, Rodney Dangerfield fell in love with him the first time he met him. He said, man, I feel like I've known him for 50 years, man. <laughs> like that. We did the exchange one-liners. He'd call him on his birthday. He knew that my father was a brilliant man who had just maybe missed his train, you know, and my father kind of got to live it with me. And he, he, uh, he passed on shortly after I made the mask, so he did get a chance to see what I was doing, and I, I really thank God for that. Uh, His only real fault was his failure to notice how long his cigarette ash was getting. <laughs> Until someone would invariably say, flick it, man. <laughs> Dad. Our family mantra was, Dad? <laughs> your ash. Dad, your ash. Oh, what? Oh, yeah, sure. Well, <laughs> My mother, Kay, who made her cherry cheesecake every Sunday, not to eat, but to throw. <laughs> My sister, Pat, who made me swallow wallpaper paste when I was four. <laughs> she told me it was cake batter. <laughs> Another building block on the way to comedy greatness. My brother, John, who is much more introverted than I am, and yet still constantly hounded by people who think, because he's my brother, that he will do funny faces on command. <laughs> John, here's your big chance. <laughs> now, we'll just sit. Now, now let's all just sit and watch the blood rush to his face. That's what I like to do. Looks like a mosquito on a hemophiliac. My sister, Rita, who sucked her thumb in front of the TV till she was 12 with her best friend, Kathy Bowles, uh, which inevitably led to her new career in broadcasting. <laughs> and good luck with that, Rita. <laughs> and my daughter, Jane, of course, uh, who at times has been my tether to the earth. Uh, she really is my reason. Uh, she was raised in California, but quite proud of her Canadian roots. Uh, so much so that if it's cold outside and somebody asks her down there if, the, if she wants a sweater, she says, no thanks, I'm Canadian. Uh, <laughs> I can't tell you how lucky I feel and how grateful I am for all the miracles that God has showered on my life, uh, not the least of which was growing up in this country with these people. Uh, I'd like to thank Canada's Walk of Fame organization for including me among this impressive group of hosers. Uh, <laughs> and let's get right down to it. We are, we are hosers, uh, after all. Uh, I was sure you can hide behind the directing, fancing gig, or the directing gig and things like that, but you'll be found out sooner or later. Uh, You'll go to the gas station. You'll ask for the tumblers. You'll want them. Uh, and where I came, you know, I lived in, in Sutton for a long time. And, you know, a good, a good time for us. Yes, sure. Jackson's Point, actually, to be exact. And, uh, and uh, oh, yes, sure. Uh, 
I could see anybody. Banff. Uh, but up there, there was nothing to do, you know? It was like you, you got creative or you went up with the guys and jumped up and down on the, on the wire and made the bell ring and stuff at the, guest, the SO station. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, she's gonna come out, we'll run. Ding, 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 ding. You kids win now. Uh, this is a fantastic gathering and I was so impressed when I saw all the, the, the stars out on the walk there and, and all the magnificent Canadians and I, I, I thought to myself, where is St. John de Brebeuf? Have we forgotten? <laughs> anyway, if you uh, open a history book, if you're a young person opening a history book in this country, if they're still around, you know, you may get one of mine. It's the one with the little bubble that says who farted <laughs> and stuff like that. That was me. You may have one of my history books. Uh, but all of the fans in this country I want to address too. Uh, you guys have been behind me 1,000% since I started. I know I have the comfort when I go on stage in this country, and from the very beginning, I had the comfort of knowing that you wanted me to do well. And I really appreciate that. I will always feel a little bit lighter when I set foot on Canadian soil. It's the lightness you feel when your heart recognizes its home. I love you very, very much. Very, very much. Thank you so much. And I love the tribute to French fries. It's fantastic. We have to talk about the Canadian portions. We have to cut down. Too many fries. Thank you. Isn't that, that was a great moment. Wasn't that fun? Congratulations. Well, that's it for this year. I just want to say congratulations to all the inductees. And it's been personally for me an honor and a pleasure to have hosted the award show this year. So thanks. Good night, everyone.